Google Chrome, with a 65% market share, is the most popular internet browser. While it's user-friendly, there are tweaks you can do to make it work better for you. Coming up, I'll show you 20 settings you can change, along with a few features you might not know about that will help to improve your overall experience using Chrome. Let's get started. We'll head over to the settings found inside of Chrome shortly, but first let's go to the website, myactivity.google.com. While you may never be able to gain full control of the personal data Google collects while using Chrome or any of their services, you now have the power to automatically delete the data they keep. While signed into your Google account, go to the left pane and select Activity Controls. Over here to the right, make sure this is toggled on. If you use Chrome Sync to save your bookmarks, passwords, and other settings data, Leave the box checked next to Include Chrome History and Activity from Sites, Apps, and Devices that Use Google Services. If you want Google to save your audio recordings from Google Search, Assistant, and Maps, check the box next to Include Audio Recordings. I leave this unchecked. I don't want it saving all the crazy things I say. Below that, click on Auto Delete. It's currently set to Don't Auto Delete, but you do have the choice to Auto Delete Activity older than three months or 18 months. I'll set mine to three months and click Next. In addition to setting Auto Delete in the future for activity older than three months, clicking on Confirm will also delete data older than three months right now. So if you're cool with that, click on Confirm. And it will let you know that your preference has been saved. With that first one out of the way, we'll now rock and roll through the rest of these at a quicker pace, so buckle up. In the upper right corner, select the three-dot menu icon and select Settings. We'll go through the hidden experimental settings later. Right now, we'll go through the notable ones here first in the order they appear, skipping over the sections You and Google and Autofill, beginning with Safety Check. To check the safety and security of your browser, click Check Now. This tool will let you know if your passwords have been compromised. It will warn you if you have safe browsing turned off, Safe browsing is Google's technology that warns you before you visit a dangerous site or download a harmful app or extension. It will also let you know if your version of Chrome is up to date and if you have any malicious extensions installed. When finished, you can review any issues and make the necessary changes. Let's go to the Privacy and Security section. When compared with Firefox that blocks third-party cookies by default, Chrome does a lousy job letting them track and follow you unless you change the setting. So let's go to Cookies and Other Site Data. Your choices are Allow All Cookies, Don't Ever Do This One, Block Third-Party Cookies in Incognito, Block Third-Party Cookies, and Block All Cookies. Don't do this one either. It can cause issues on your favorite sites. Select Block Third-Party Cookies. This is what I use and have never had any issues. Actually, this should be the default setting and we shouldn't have to change it manually. Staying in privacy and security, let's go to security. If you want to stop the government or your internet service provider from knowing the sites that you visit, let's scroll down the page to advanced and toggle the switch on for use secure DNS. Let's scroll down some more here. You have two choices with your current service provider. Don't choose this one, it's almost useless. Instead, choose with. In the dropdown, you can't go wrong with either Quad9 or Cloudflare. Going this route encrypts all of your DNS queries. This is absolutely one of the best privacy settings in Chrome. Below security, let's dive into site settings and scroll down to permissions. For each listed, including location, camera, microphone, notifications, and background sync, you can remove permissions for each individual site, but I find notifications to be the most irritating of all. So let's use that one as an example. There's a site here at the top called CNET. I'll click on that one. As you can see, permissions vary from Ask, Allow, Automatic, and Block. But specifically for this site, I have notifications blocked, which is probably for the best. So let's go back by hitting the back button. Here at the top, the toggle for notifications is on, which means sites never visited can ask to send notifications. If you're one that doesn't like to be asked or just want to block all notifications, toggle this switch to off. Staying in Site Settings, scroll all the way to the bottom and select 
pop-ups, and redirects. There's no debate here. I want you to always toggle this switch to off. If you have any issues with any website, just allow exceptions below by selecting Add and enter the name of the clueless site, still living in the 1990s in the text field. Then when you're done with that, click Add. Moving on from privacy and security, the next one down is Appearance. If you don't like the look of Chrome, you can change its color scheme in Themes. Click this icon to the right to go to Themes in the Chrome Web Store. You'll land on this page to view all themes available. These here at the top were created by the Chrome team. I'll change the theme right now and go with High Contrast Colorful. Click Add to Chrome to change your theme. That's certainly a different look with the colorful tabs. I think I'll keep it. Chrome, unlike most other browsers, has the Home button disabled by default. I for one like having it enabled, so I'll toggle the switch on. You could have it set to New Tab Page or have it land on a favorite website. I'll enter that site right now and click on Home to the left of the address bar. This is a good time to talk about DuckDuckGo, so let's go to Search Engine. Just last year, DuckDuckGo was finally added to the choices of search engines that can be used in the address bar. It's the most privacy focused of those available. They don't track your searches or sell your data. Your other choices include Google, Bing, Yahoo, and to support tree planting hippies is Ecosia, but I'd recommend using DuckDuckGo. For those of you that don't like having a bookmarks bar covering your screen, here's a cool tip to quickly access your favorite websites. Go to Manage Search Engines. Normally, this is where you'd add another search engine, but instead I'll show you how to create shortcuts to the sites you visit on a regular basis. So down here in Other Search Engines, Click on Add. In the search engine field, enter the name of the website. For keyword, enter the shortcut, and then enter the URL of the website. When you're done, click on Add. Now to get to the site faster, go to the address bar and enter the shortcut keyword you entered earlier. Even when you close the Chrome browser, apps associated with Chrome will continue to run in the background. One example as to why this happens is to alert you of any notifications. You can put a stop to this by going to Advanced and then System. Over here to the right, toggle the switch off for continue running background apps when Google Chrome is closed. Below that, if you want to offload some of the demands of your central processing unit to your more powerful graphics processing unit when using Chrome, Toggle on, use hardware acceleration when available. You'll need to relaunch your browser first for this to be active. This setting is actually enabled on Chrome by default, and most people using it don't have any problems. But if you experience any issues with it turned on like freezing or lag, turning it off might solve your problem. Also, having it enabled can drain your laptop battery quicker. Let's now go to the reset and cleanup section. This one's controversial. Chrome has a built-in tool that will scan your computer outside of Chrome to find harmful software that could be interfering with Chrome's performance or violates Google's unwanted software policy. Click on Clean Up Computer. You can run a manual scan by clicking Find. The issue many people have with this tool, and you may have noticed this yourself, that sometimes it runs automatically without your consent, and there's no way to turn it off at this time. If you don't want to report the details of the scan to Google, I would suggest unchecking the box. If you ever use the somewhat more privacy-focused incognito mode, you may have noticed that your extensions don't work. This is by default, and there's an easy fix. In the upper right, click the three-dot menu icon, go to More Tools, and select Extensions. Find the extension you'd like to use in incognito mode, and click on Details. Down the page, find Allow in Incognito and click the slider to enable it. While we're here in extensions, if you ever wanted to create keyboard shortcuts to your favorite extensions, instead of clicking it in the bar at the top, click the extensions menu in the upper left and select keyboard shortcuts. As you can see, I have a few set up. I'll now create one for Extensity, which is a cool extension to quickly enable and disable other Chrome extensions. The shortcut I'll be using is the Alt key plus the letter E. Let's test it out and see if it works. 
And there you go, it works. You can also close that window using the same keyboard shortcut. We'll now take a quick look at a few of the experimental features that you might want to enable by going to Chrome colon double slash flags. The first one is force dark mode for web contents. So here in the search box, do a search for dark mode. In the drop down menu, select enabled. Then in the lower right, click relaunch for the changes to take effect when Chrome restarts. Here's an example of what this popular site looks like without dark mode. And here's that same website with dark mode enabled, and it looks quite a bit better. While many browsers already have a competent reader mode built in, Chrome does not. But they do have an experimental reader that is bare bones to at least get rid of the ads. So do a search for reader. To the right of enable reader mode, select enabled. And then relaunch. To activate it on a web page, click the reader mode icon on the right side of the address bar. If you want, here at the top, you can change the font, background color, and size. If you want to speed up the process of downloading files with Chrome's built-in downloader, type parallel into the search box. To the right of parallel downloading, in the drop-down menu, select enabled. And after you relaunch, you should now see faster speeds downloading, which is especially useful when dealing with large files. Before we close out this episode, here's a few of the cool features you should know about. To send web pages to other devices like your phone or laptop that are signed in with your Google account, right click anywhere on the page or in the tab header, go to send to your devices, then pick the device. One that many people don't know is that within Chrome, you can easily add emoji to any text box on Windows or Mac OS by right clicking and selecting emoji, then pick the ones you want. And this works anywhere within Chrome. If you're still using the standard basic new tab layout with Chrome, you can change how it looks. So first make sure you have a new tab opened. In the lower right, select customize. You can change the background with several types to choose from. I'll go with seascapes here, go with that one. And below background is shortcuts, where you decide if you want shortcuts curated for you based on the sites you visit often, or you can hide shortcuts by clicking the slider. And below shortcuts is color and theme, where they give you several to choose from. But here's a warning for you. Choosing any of these will remove the theme that you have installed. I'm kind of liking this high contrast colorful, so I won't change this one. And when you're finished with these, click on done. Thanks for watching. If this video gave you any value to improve your Chrome experience, give it a thumbs up and share with others. What settings would you recommend that people change? Let us know about them in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out on the latest with Chrome and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.